music, celebrities, pancakes, and plenty of vodka. Thousands gathered in London's Trafalgar Square for a celebration to herald the spring. This is Maslanitsa, the Sun Festival, a centuries-old tradition imported from the Russian motherland, a time to say goodbye to winter, to look forward to the year ahead. I know that whatever happens, um, Russia is a very, very strong country and we, we've been through a lot and we're just looking forward to hopefully things getting smoother. Not far from the minds of many of the young Russian expats here today, the presidential elections a week away. They'll have the opportunity to vote at one of three polling stations across London. I hope that it will be some a new party, strong party, uh, which will become uh, second force in Russia with a more liberal, a more liberal, more market economy oriented. I think that the era of uh, military men such as Putin has been long gone and we need big changes. Olga Wilton moved to London a year and a half ago because her husband is British. She says her experience here has been very different than that of her mother who still lives in Moscow. My mother works for a public sector, so and her employer made her vote and actually go to all these protests. Otherwise, she could lose her position. Whereas here, well, it's my own, it's my own aim, and um, I, I just enjoy doing that because I feel responsible for my country's future. But although I'm not sure that the votes will be counted at all, and I'm not sure we will make a difference. Anastasia Zenkiana moved to London to work for an investment bank. She says that the Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin is the only presidential candidate capable of making a difference. He is the only one at the moment who knows how to uh, lead the country to stability and to, um, for Russia to regain its national strength. Many of London's Russian expats hope this year's Maslanitsa marks the beginning not only of spring, but the start of a new political course for their home country. Aaron McLaughlin, CNN, London.